Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Before Japan, I'm going to be answering the question for you. Will Japan fix my problems? Now, I realize this is kind of a touchy subject, and some people from some less,、uh, how we say, less savory groups online may find this video. And、uh, if you guys are from those groups and you're watching, hi. Hope you're enjoying a nice、uh, can of cold c h u h a i for me. I miss them a lot. And in any event, guys,、um, welcome to the new episode. Just give you guys some backstory on me so you get some context to. What I have to say.、Uh, my name is Andy. I'm a US Navy veteran. I served five years in the US Navy and I served two of those years abroad in Japan. During my time in Japan, I was stationed out in Yokosuka, by the way. I went through a lot of personal hardships.、Uh, just the operational tempo out there was really, really brutal for me. Went through a lot of shit, basically. And、uh, when it was time for me to get out of the military, I had time to really think about the kind of stuff that was going on with me during that time. And that's when a lot of these like mental problems and stuff sort of crept up. Because like when I was in, I was like, I'm fine, I'm bulletproof. But once I got out, I realized I kind of went through some shit. From there, I went through、uh, college, two colleges. I just couldn't quite get my footing in there, you know, because I was going through a lot of. Mental health type problems. I don't want to get too into it because it's a little personal. So、um, I decided to take a year off to really think about what I want to do in life and just is college right for me? Am I going to the right college? Stuff like that. And、um, one of my old shipmates actually got accepted to a university out in Tokyo. And at the time, I didn't know that you could use your GI Bill to study abroad. I thought it had to be within an American university. But I talked with him about it. He's like, Yeah, man, you just you know, apply and do all this other shit. I'm like, What? How did I not know about this? Because, like, had I known, I would have just applied straight away, you know, while I was out in Japan. Hell, I probably would have t o o k a train and, like, applied in person. But,、uh, you know, it is what it is. Hindsight's always 20 20, right? I decided then and there to apply to a school out in Tokyo. And、uh, that's what I'm going to be pursuing this year, 2019. Ooh. When I announced that I was、um, applying to schools out in Japan,、um, I got a lot of positive comments from my friends saying, Yeah, Andy, way to go. You know, it'd be awesome you being out in Japan, stuff like that. But I also got a lot of not necessarily negative comments, but、uh, just some kind of concerned comments, basically saying, You know, like, Andy, I know you kind of went through some shit in the military. Are you worried that? You know, that kind of stuff is going to affect your performance out in, out in Japan, especially if you're going back to school and your visa depends on your performance in school. You know, I told him that that's a very valid point. But for me, I took that year off of going to school to really、um, gather myself and figure out what I want to do in life and find out reasons why I basically failed in going back to school. And that was a lack of a Strong friend network. Like, I did have some friends when I was out in school up in Michigan, but you know, I didn't really spend a whole lot of time with them. And they were mostly、uh, work friends. So, you know, you kind of have that sort of balance to maintain as well. Don't want to get too close. You know, I also lacked, you know, a strong network out there, not just with friends, but also. Uh, like a work network. So, in finding jobs and stuff, I was basically on my own. When I was out in Japan the first time around, I managed to network with a lot of people and I made a lot of friends out there. Me going back to Tokyo, knowing what I know now, I think is going to be a really good thing for me, you know, because I have that strong network that I lacked when I was up in Michigan and I just have a strong sense of purpose. This time around, because even when I was in Michigan, like my whole goal with going through college and stuff was to go to Japan, you know, whether it was to work for a couple years and then come back to America or stay there the rest of my life. At this point, I don't really know yet. I'd like to say I want to stay there till I die, but you know, life happens, shit happens. So I do want to be open to other opportunities, but. That being said, right now I do want to go back to Japan and I'm making the moves to,、uh, to make it happen basically. Now, I tell you all this to give you the context of why I think Japan will or will not solve my problems. And the answer to that ultimately is eh, it's kind of in the middle, to be honest. 
I don't think Japan will or will not solve my problems, but being in Japan will definitely help me in solving my own problems because at the end of the day, guys, you are the only one who can solve your own problems because uh, no matter where you go, there you are. So if I were to just like go to Japan to you know escape my problems, I'll still carry my problems with me. But if I have the attitude of, you know what, I got problems, I got shit I gotta work out, and I feel like being in another country is gonna help me with that, if anything, to encourage me to do the things that I like, because I'm really passionate about photography, videography. I've been on YouTube for, what, 12, 13 years at this point, and I wanna get out there, you know, meet up with my old friends, make videos, take pictures, and uh, just live my life, man. You only get one shot at this shit and uh, I wanna make mine count. At the end of the day, I'm the one that fixes my problems, but that being said, being in an environment that will help support you, or at least not bring you down, will definitely help you in fixing your problems, but not necessarily directly. It'll just take less of a load on you. It'll ease some of the burden. So that's basically my thoughts on the situation. I'd happily encourage you guys to share your thoughts down below in the comments. Um, try to keep it civil, of course. You know, I intend to make this video as a good talking point. And I know a lot of foreigners, you know, they see new people fresh off the boat coming in and, you know, they see them as like, oh, they're just escaping to Japan. They're escaping their problems in America, Canada, Australia, wherever else in the world. And so I do want to make this video as like a talking point. And if there's some things, you know, that I didn't mention or kind of briefly covered in this video that you want me to go in more detail, as long as it doesn't get too personal, um, let me know in the comments down below as well. I'll be happy to make a follow-up video to this if need be. And with that said, guys, this is the Andy Sign. That's it for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.